We begin with reporter Sheldon Ingram, who spoke to some of the people living in this area about their memories of the day that changed the world. Aviation experts say Flight 93 tore through the sky at speeds between 563 and 580 miles an hour. So when the plane finally crashed, it pierced a hole into the ground about 15 feet deep. It shook the earth and rattled houses. So don't expect the folks around here to ever forget what they were doing on 9-11. You know, especially David Stotler. Tommy was across the road and he saw it coming in and he ran over and he saw it coming through the sky. Yeah. He was sitting on the porch chair and saw it. He said the plane was coming in. It was a flying level and there was a lot of smoke coming out of the, you know, the engines. Stotler says he and his neighbor raced to the crash site. And he said it just turned over and went straight in, straight in the ground. How soon, how long did it take you to get there after the impact? About 10 minutes. About 10 minutes you were over there? Yeah. Yeah, we were there before the emergency people came in. Even just a big hole in the ground. You couldn't even see there were burning parts laying on the ground. and paper everywhere. Flight 93's crash is described as a cataclysmic moment. Residents close by talk of how their bodies shook and were lifted. Heard a big explosion and it felt like lifting me right, right out of the chair and the ran outside. That plane would come right for me. They tell similar stories inside Snyder's corner store. I heard this crash and it literally took me right off my feet. Carol Brandt describes what happened to an elderly friend as Flight 93 crashed. It literally took her off her bed. She was laying down for a nap, and when she woke up, she was on the floor. When I turned the TV on in the second time, the second tower had already been hit, and I knew it could not be an accident. J.P. O'Connor is a social studies teacher at Shanksville Stony Creek. On 9-11, he and his fourth grade class watched events unfold as two jets crashed into the World Trade Center towers. He attempted to give his kids some measure of assurance that they're safe. I said, kid, you don't have anything to worry about. We live out here in the boonies. Nothing's going to happen out here. And then, within minutes, Flight 93 is soaring downward, just above the school. In my classroom was that um, the building shook, all the ceiling towels in my room went up and came down, and we could hear a large bang. Marianne Walker was a volunteer inside the school. We didn't know whether it was dynamite from a strip mines or what until we heard the fire whistles were blowing. There was a lot of fire whistles blowing. They probably were blowing all over town. So yes, the folks around here will always remember what they were doing that day. The fate of Flight 93 shook their bodies and stirred their souls. I picked this little piece of, it would have been a fragment from the plane, it was metal. And the feeling that went through me was just so weird that I literally dropped it. Right there was a, a plane load of dead people that had could, done nothing but get on an airplane. A scary thing.